you got to understand a diesel engine does not have any restriction. It doesn't have a butterfly like a carburetor or a, or a, uh, um, a mass airflow sensor. Now the 6.0s do, but on a 7.3, which is what we're talking about, we, we're, there is no restriction or air management system per se on this engine. So the only thing that you can really increase is fuel. The fuel system is very simple on a power stroke diesel. Uh, you have an inline fuel pump. Come on over here, G. Let me show you. You have an inline fuel pump that feeds this line. This is your incoming fuel line. This is your return line. And the fuel travels through this line and up through here to your uh, fuel filter reservoir. Now, at this point, it's filtered and distributed through two other lines, which this is, and it feeds into the fuel reservoir in the head. So there's, a, there's a long runner that's drilled into this cylinder head, and it's fed by this line. Now, it has to pass through this fitting. And this fitting has restrictive fuel holes here. The fuel has to pass through these restrictive holes inside this fitting. So what we're going to do is we're going to drill these holes bigger. At wide open throttle, you're going to have all the fuel pressure you need. You have to understand that this fuel line comes in from the front on the driver's side and from the rear on the passenger side. So the only two plugs that we're, that we're considering at this point is, is this one on the back near the exhaust and then the one on the front on the driver's side which means that we're going to have to remove the power steering and the uh, and the uh, AC compressor no actually on this side it's the alternator um, but we're gonna have to take this loose to get at this now to be able to access the uh, the plug that goes in on the driver's side front we've got to take this bracket loose that holds the alternator and the power steering so we got to take this first thing we got to do is take the belt loose and then we'll take these four bolts out of here that hold this entire bracket. Now to get this bracket off of here, now this is all the motor that's out of the truck, we got to take one, two, three, four bolts loose and then we're going to slide this piece forward enough to get at this little restrictive plug in there. You're going to want to put a pan underneath the truck because when you open this plug up it's going to drain fuel all over the place. So you stick it under there real careful like. Now that you got the bolts off you can see right down in there, it's, this is what we're after, right here. And you can get a quarter inch ratchet, it's a quarter inch ratchet that you want to stick on there and it'll pop it right off. You can move it back just a little bit and get right to it. So now we're going to extract that and let the fuel drain out. I like to use a flexi head type ratchet like this here to do this type of thing because it allows you to get in tight spots easier, especially if you, especially if you have a, 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 you know, not a whole lot of room to work the ratchet. This right here is an invaluable tool. This is an eighth inch drill bit stuck into the stock hole. What we're going to do, bump it up to a quarter of an inch. Now, an important note, I pulled this off of an early model cylinder head. This is what you can expect for this to look like on a uh, uh, 1995 to 1997, 98 model engine. Uh, and notice it's just a little bit different. The, the later model one has a little step in it. Now, I don't know what difference this makes in terms of in terms of performance but it is slightly different and it's worth noting. So now we're going to go ahead and drill the holes. Now as you drill this hole you're going to make this thing, you're going to make it considerably larger here. Personally I don't think you need to drill the second one. I believe that this one that we just drilled, this quarter inch, is going to be more than plenty. You see the the hole coming out is a quarter an inch going into the cylinder head so we've got two quarter inches coming into it and that ought to be more than enough flow. Now, it's important to note that at this point where this goes in the fuel system is has been triple filtered uh, and it's been gone through screens and it's absolutely imperative that you get this piece as clean as possible before you reinstall it because if you don't uh, and you get a, a little metal shaving in there that lodges up in one of those injectors we're going to run into a serious problem. So make sure we, we take all the burrs off, we're going to take a little piece of emery cloth and we're going to take that o-ring out of there and we're going to clean this thing up real pretty with some brake cleaner before we put it back in the truck. If you filed off your burrs and you've got some brake cleaner blow it out with air and get every last little little bit of uh, shavings off of here. It's important that you don't have any shavings in this. Now it's just a reverse of the procedure before just slide it back in there and uh, be careful. This particular motor is a little warm, but I lost the feeling in my fingertips about 20 years ago. Just, you know, just thread her back in there. Snug her up. Okay. 
Okay, now that she's snug inside there, we go ahead and reattach the uh, the bracket on the front. You may have to lift it up just a little bit to get it in the hole. Get that top bolt in. Once you get one bolt started, then the other four will go nicely. We got that back on, ready to set the belt back on here. All right, double check. Always double check when you have the belt off to double check that it's gotten in back into the grooves correctly before you start it. If you don't, it will shred that belt into, into ribbons quickly. Alright, let's go ahead and let's deal with the passenger side. I'm going to stick my hand back there by that hot ass exhaust and put my hand right on it. There's plenty of room. Alright. See, our problem here is, come here. Problem here is, you see, the exhaust system is right here. Now this particular motor come out of a van and it was wrecked, so I think the exhaust, as you can see right here, I think the exhaust got bent a little bit in it. But you're going to have to get in between here. You don't really want to do this with a motor hot as hell because you're going to, you're going to burn your fingers, but that's, that's the piece we need to get out on the back. Alright, now this one here you can reach right around the back here. Just got to lean in. She's right down here, right next to the exhaust. You don't want to do this when it's hot now. And it's uh, it's just a matter of just reaching back here to get it and uh, screw her back in and tighten her down. But you can put your fingers right on that thing on the very back there. And of course, with your ratchet, you kind of just have to fiddle around with it. And again, this 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 uh, swivel head ratchet is invaluable in a situation like this because the firewall is kind of close back there. <laughs> 